Good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, I really enjoyed reading your um, presentations about your favorite toys. You guys did a really great job of finding some information about them. I know I learned a lot of new things. So I was thinking, since we don't have too much time left together, I wanted you to be able to get a chance to share your presentations with your friends. But I also wanted to make sure that I tried to, to get as many of all of your awesome ideas and some of your suggestions from this Padlet into our assignments. So I'm going to show you, if you're not sure already, how to share your assignments with a friend or with friends, as many as you would like. Um, you can even comment on them back and forth. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be working on today and then also how to share your presentations from now on. So I was looking through um, our Padlet that we did on Friday, and there were a lot of interesting ones. And like I said, I'm gonna try and get to as many of them as I can, or at least try to kind of incorporate a bunch of different ones into one. And so the one that I'm going to focus on is Helen's. And I was really interested in learning about sugar gliders myself. So I thought that it would be um, a cool way to learn more about sugar gliders because I don't think too many people know that much information about them and to also kind of include um josh crusados he said he wanted to talk about different animals um who else was it that said different animals nevaeh v this would be a good time to talk about dogs kai this would be a good time to talk about cats and i'm going to show you how you can do that in um in today's lesson. So first we have to learn a little bit about sugar gliders, right? So if you remember, I said, I would base my read alouds even on what your interests were. So I went to Epic. I just typed in sugar gliders into the search bar and it came up with four different books about sugar gliders. And I really love this because they're all on different levels. If you wanted to go back and reread them, this one, for example, does not have the um, color levels like we've been, like we've gotten used to. It has our old kind of leveling system with the letters. So this one is a level I and a level I, I don't have my chart in front of me, but I want to say is kind of like a 1B, 2B kind of book. So um, if this is something that you're comfortable reading, this would be a good book for you if you wanted to go back and read a little bit more about sugar gliders. Um, this one, my pet sugar glider. How cool you can have him as pets, who knew? This one, Oh, I was paging through already, is a level L. That's more of like, um, like a 1R, 2R book. But the book that we're going to read, that I'm going to read to you, is this one, which is, which is called You Have a Pet What? Sugar Glider. And this book is a level N, which is more of like um, a white, maybe even a black. So it gives you a pretty big range, depending on what your um, just right level is. And you know how normally when we're together, I would show you the table of contents. We talk a little bit about this text feature and then I would let you pick or vote on what you wanted to, um, which section or what subtopic you wanted to talk about. But since we're not together, I'm actually just going to read a couple of pages in order. But remember that normally with nonfiction, you don't have to, you can kind of jump around and, and start with what maybe you're most interested in. So look at this cool guy. This is our sugar glider. <clears throat> And the subheading starts with night gliding. Night falls in the forest. The large round eyes of a sugar glider open. It's time to eat. The mammal climbs out from its tree nest. It travels across a limb. Then it jumps. The sugar glider spreads its four legs. The skin stretches from its wrists to its ankles. The skin acts like a kite. It catches the wind. The sugar glider soars from limb to limb. It searches for its next meal. Tree sap and insects are good finds. A sugar glider is a marsupial. And again, think about what this text feature is. It's bold. So that means that if it's a bold word, marsupial, they'll give you a little bit more. So you just heard the pronunciation. They tell you it's um, part of speech. It's an adjective or a describing word and that it's a noun. So marsupial is basically like the, um, a type of mammal like a kangaroo possum that has a pouch for its babies. So believe it or not, this little guy has a little pouch in there for its babies. A sugar glider is a marsupial like a kangaroo. This is a kind of mammal, 
Only three kinds of mammals can glide. The sugar glider is one. That's one reason hit this animal makes a unique pet. And here's a fun fact. It says a sugar glider can glide up to 196 feet. That's about half the length of a football field. That's pretty amazing. The sugar glider's natural habitat, there's another bold word, is in Australia. Remember some of these places because you're going to need them for the activity. The sugar glider's natural habitat is in Australia, Tasmania, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. These lands are in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. There, the sugar gliders live in forests. These forests usually have acacia trees. There's that word acacia. So they're showing you some maps of some of the different places that they're in. You're going to have the job or the task of finding a map that shows where um, sugar gliders can be found also. So keep this page in mind. It is page six. Sugar gliders are social animals. They live in large groups ranging from 12 to 40 sugar gliders. One or two males lead the group. Females and children, called joeys, hmm, just like kangaroos are, join the males. They usually make their nest inside a tree hollow. They line the hollow with leaves and shredded bark. And this little caption says, in the wild, sugar gliders live in trees. They rarely, if ever, touch the ground. Interesting. So we're going to read one more um, page and then you're going to be off on your own. Remember that we always want to take the time to read through some of the text. So find one um, of the books that you're most comfortable with that's on your level. Find some more information there and then that's what I hope to see on your slides. Sugar gliders are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day and are awake during the night. At first, or I'm sorry, at night, they look for food. They eat both animals and plants. Think about what that means if an animal eats both plants and animals. So if you said omnivore, give yourself a little pat on the back. Nice job. Females have a pouch for their babies. After just 15 to 17 days, one or two joeys are born. The tiny animals crawl up to the pouch. There they feed and grow more. The joeys leave the pouch between 60 and 70 days later. Soon, the mother takes each joey out of the nest. It clings to her back as she looks for food. The fun fact here says, do you think that sugar gliders like sweet foods? They sure do. Tree sap, fruit, and flower nectar are their favorites. They also eat insects and bird eggs, believe it or not. This fact was really surprising to me. Check out this caption. A glider joey is born as tiny as a cooked grain of rice. So they're itty bitty when they're born, right? That's a really cool fact. So like I said, we're going to stop here. There's plenty more. Please don't just stop because I did. You're going to need a diagram, just FYI. Um, keep going, find out some more information. Or like I said, you can always go back and click and click through one of the other books if that one is a better fit for your level. When it's time to do your assignment, I've already given your presentation a title. If you wanna change the background, that's fine too. Um, please make sure you write who the research is by. That should be your um, name on the front page. So you're going to go through and talk about a little bit about what you learned from my reading and then from your own reading from when you um, started reading about sugar gliders. So the first one is the habitat. So remember the habitat is where the animal lives. So you're going to write where sugar gliders, sugar gliders live and include at least one map. So it could be of any of the locations that they mention in the book. It could be of all of them. It's up to you, but I do need to see a map on this page that shows at least one place where sugar gliders live. Um, a description. So in the description, you're going to describe what a sugar glider is like. So name at least three distinct features. Please don't just tell me what colors they are because that's something I can see easily from the picture but instead write down cool things that we learned about the sugar gliders. I know I even learned some things, so you definitely should have too. Then you're going to find a diagram, just like you saw on that page that labels each body part. I wanna see that on this, on this page. Um, and here you can have some fun writing some fun facts. Um, and again, this can be from my read aloud or it can be from a book that you read. And then here's where you get to write about your favorite animal. So remember I said 
this will be our way that those of you who really want to talk about dogs or um, or cats or whatever your favorite animal was, this would be a good place to do it because I don't think we'll have enough time to get to everybody's. I hope we do. But either way, jot down some cool facts about your animal here. Um, you can include some pictures. But then when you're done, as always, you're going to turn it in to me. I'm trying to double check. I think you have the option to share. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm getting a little confused. But this is what I'm going to have you do. If you have that share button, you're going to click on share. And you can actually type in the names of your friends and the rest of their email should pop up. So let's just say I wanted to share this with, after I was done, with Annie. Because I know that she mentioned to me that she also likes sugar gliders. Make sure it's her first name and last name, and it is. Click on her name and it'll pop up. Then next to her name, there's a little pull down what this pencil is, and it says edit files directly. You don't want your friends changing anything. So instead, you're going to pull down this menu and click on can view. And then that means, or then that way, they can just read your presentation, but they're not changing anything, and then you'll click send. So that's a, a cool way, a cool thing that we're going to add here. If for some reason, you're unable to do that, I can, we'll figure out another way to do it. I'm, now that I'm looking at the screen, I'm, I'm just wondering if my page is the same as yours. Um, but that's actually your only job for today because I know it's kind of a big one with writing down the facts in complete sentences and finding each of the things and then talking about your own. Um, but remember that the next thing that we're going to be doing is sharing with our friends. Take a look at some of the ones that they have done if they're sharing it with you. You can even go back and share yesterday's if you wanted to talk about or share the, the slides of your favorite toy. Okay, I think I'm just scanning my, my tabs up top. I think we are all good to go. So thank you for teaching me new things about different toys to, or yesterday, and I can't wait to hear about your favorite animals and even more about sugar gliders today.